teachers were complaining about a sewer smell. Didn't know where it was coming from, couldn't figure it out. But if you see the, the missing tile on the floor, that's basically where the sewer line broke. There's a tunnel. So that water was basically right running into the tunnel system that the fresh air blows through that comes up into the rooms. It's kind of a festering agent. You can't never get ahead of it. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> it's challenging. It's hard on the building itself when you can't get the humidity out. It puts a stress load on my workers. It puts a stress load on the students. I'm having to run units that are 50, 60, 70 years like old. That. We'll go down the boiler room here. The condensate tank here is quite small. This unit is original to 1954. So this supplies the air for the K through four wing. We have overextended the shaft on this unit with the bearings. It's kind of a band-aid on here to get us by. You can't fix it any more than what we did. Four or 500 people in there. The air quality is poor, plus the humidity. Uh, the floor gets very slippery. We've made a lot of headway in the last seven years, but last year I had $42,000 in leak repair. It definitely burns up the budget that's set for the year. All of this that we're trying to do is for the kids. It's giving them access to environments of learning. It's, it's making it possible. And if they're not comfortable doing that, if they're sitting there sweating, if they're sitting there freezing, they're not learning. They're, they're not making progress.